came down to uh, Chinatown area uh, because I needed to pick up some sunglasses from a place at Canal Street Market. I'll list the name because I think they're the only place I can get sunglasses um, because literally it's the only ones that fit my face the best. Um, and I'm gonna actually get the other ones prescripted that I have from them. So I'm super happy that I got these. Um, and then now we're gonna go get dim sum because we're starving. And I've never been to this place, so hopefully it'll be good. I've settled back from coming from the city and I'm having a late dinner but I wanted to share because it looks and smells so good um, so Eric and I stopped by this kind of like corner um, where there's like this very old grandma who sells lotus leaf sticky rice and she has it in all these different uh, flavors I guess we got two of the Shanghai styles and then I'm, I'm just assuming that the more triangular one is the Taiwanese style. But I can put down where she is located. She was so sweet. I had discovered her through, I wanna say either Instagram or TikTok. People were just talking about supporting her and seeing how good the food was. So I was like, okay, well, I have to try it. And I'm so happy I did. Um, I always kind of crave this every now and then, but I only see it at like dim sum places. So I'm pretty stoked. I just reheated it in the microwave. I know it kind of looks messy. Um, I had trouble unwrapping it, so then rice kind of got stuck everywhere, but I'm super excited to taste it. Let's see. Mm. Oh shoot, this looks so good. It's like loaded up on the inside. Hot pickle. Mmm. 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 This is so good. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. So I got my Cometeer decaf box, and each box comes with dry ice to keep the package cold. And one of my friends who also tried Cometeer she made ice cream out of the dry ice and i was heavily inspired and then i got scared and i chickened out and now after being on the phone with her i was like okay i think i'm gonna do it this is for you gabby i'm doing this for you <laughs> um okay i'm actually like really scared so pretty much what she and her boyfriend told me was that i just have to take a small portion of the dry ice break it grind it, put it in my blender, and then add my ice cream mixture. And I'm just gonna use my Chobani brown sugar coffee creamer because I heard you can just mix coffee creamer. And then I'm gonna have ice cream. So it better be, better be that easy. I have my oven mittens and my package. It's okay, it works out because the info is there. I'm just scared because, like, you're not really supposed to touch dry ice. Okay, so first I'm gonna just try to, like, break it on the ground. I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna get a hammer. Okay, I have my hammer and I'm gonna just... I think I broke up the dry ice. Okay. And then my cup is right here. Gosh. Do like another? I don't know how much I need. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure she said to powderize it first. Um, no. Oh my god, what was that? Oh my god. Not fun. Gabby, do you see this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just pour the mixture. I'm gonna just pour my coffee creamer. Cause I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I think she said I can shake it up too. The coffee creamer that I'm trying is the Chobani coffee creamer. This is sizzling brown sugar. I found this recently. Um, and I know I said I was trying to get the non-dairy and I just want to let you know I did get the non-dairy and it is so good But they don't have it in this flavor and I just wanted to try this flavor. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put in but <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's going on? Okay, and then do I mix it? Um, I didn't get that much Guidance. Ah, I don't like that sizzling sound. Ah, <laughs> I don't like the bubbling either. Um, Gabby, help. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close it and then shake it. Using this wooden. <laughs> Maybe I'll mix it around with this. I, it's definitely turning into something though. Like, am I allowed to try this? I can't really. So, am I just supposed to wait until it stops bubbling? I wanna try this. Don't try it. Don't try it unless you have a scientist expert with you. That's my, that's my advice. So during COVID, a lot of my close friends um, moved out of the city or I kind of just really became isolated and didn't reach out to people as much. I had recently decided that I wanted to try to meet some new people and I got a Bumble Friends account. It, it's interesting, I, I don't really have an opinion about it yet because I haven't really like used it as in depth as I probably could have. Um, but I am meeting someone today, so I have to like glow up myself <laughs> within like an hour because I'm looking a little bit crusty. Had a lot of work to do today, so kind of the end of the day, so I just need to get ready for dinner. So let's get ready for me to go on a friend date. I just kind of washed my hair. My hair gets really oily because I have like super thin and fine hair and I've tried literally everything and I just like, I've accepted it because I work from home, but there are definitely times where I feel like towards the end of the day, I'm like, oh my God, it looks so bad and I, it bothers me. So I decided just to do a quick wash. Um, I put some skincare on and then I have my contacts in. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go for just like my standard. I, I don't think glittery is too much. I personally just like glittery makeup, which is why I'm doing it. Cause it's just been a while since I've had makeup on. Um, since I'm going with a pretty simple look. So we're back in the bedroom doing makeup. I don't really see myself doing too much talking because I don't have that much time and I don't know like last time when I did this and I watched the video again I was like girl you need to shut up hopefully not too much talking I can tell you what products I'm using while I'm using it right now the Clinique moisture surge 70, 72 hour I know they also have like a 100 hour so I got this a while ago and I just need to use it up 
I am gonna use the Unseen Sunscreen for primer. This is kind of like the only primer I ever use. I haven't really been big about purchasing makeup. It's just not really a priority. I don't really go out very much, so. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I really love the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I used to never really be into like coverage foundations, and then COVID happened, and I was like, you know what? I don't really need that much foundation. I never really go out that much. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in medium brown to just outline the brow and then I use the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint um, to fill it in because I just don't want to waste the product of the Anastasia and the MAC one comes with a powder and then also a brush tip and then to overall kind of put all my brow together. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in clear. And then to really get my ends to stay in place, I use the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm not doing anything crazy with my eyes, so I just usually use the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette to do my base. So I'm gonna do that really quick right now. My personal favorite way of just doing glitter is I have these Aritam Shine Fix eyes um, in like four different colors. Um, so let me start with Jazz Lounge. And then we go to Cinnamon Rose. Get it a little bit lighter and I focus that more on the middle portion. I curl my lashes before I do eyeliner just so that after I don't get it everywhere. I do end up curling them a little bit lightly later but i do the main curling before okay let's do eyeliner using the glittery red bean gel liner from three concept eyes pretty much my go-to i've been using this one forever i think i'm gonna use cinnamon rose to just do the under eye portion get a little sparkle down there let's do lashes same lash prep that I've done literally forever. Dr. Mascara Fixer, um, volume up, and then long lash. Curl the lashes one last time. It's a lot easier and it stays up more when I do it after my lash prep. The Etude House Curl Fix, literally the best mascara, the only mascara I will ever use to just kind of dab it at the curl to really keep it in place. Okay, let's do these lily lashes. Let me just coat my under lashes with this Peri Para Ink Color Cara Volume. This is an espresso, I think. I like using like a brown so it doesn't look too much. Okay, now we're gonna use this glitter from Three Concept Eyes. Okay, let's do the inner corner with Coconut Bay. Okay, NARS Laguna Bronzer. Really got a bronze since I've gained so much weight. So I need to bronze and contour my weight. Okay. Blush, I'm using the Marc Jacobs. Keeping it really high just because to give myself more cheekbone-like look. Fenty highlighter. Awesome, I think we are good. I'm gonna set my face, then we do hair. Okay, so I just finished my hair. I just did some light waves. This is kind of just like my go-to hair since I don't have any volume, so this is like the best I can do with volume with the Dyson. Um, I am gonna go with a super simple look. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna do like a super tossed on, like it's just like an oversized white button down silver jewelry because that's what I like and then jeans. I don't have my jeans on right now, I'm still in my sweatpants, but I feel like this is okay, right? Like, didn't try so hard except this just completely uh, is not true, but. What do you think? What do you think? I'm on my way to the dinner. My hand's shaking because I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I also feel like I look way too more put together than I want to be. I feel like she dresses way more cooler than I do, so 
Yeah. Ooh, the nerves. At least my makeup looks good, right? <laughs> I just finished up meeting with the girl. She is really cool. I really like her. Um, Christina, if you're watching this, I'm so happy that we met. <laughs> um, that would be really embarrassing. I hope she doesn't ever find this ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like super psyched. Um, I really can't wait to meet her again. And I, and I think we will. She gives me like very good vibes. But now I am gonna go home. Pretty, pretty tired because I also have work tomorrow. So yeah, just wanted to give an update that it was good. It was good. <laughs> Thank you.